Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. This is the card we're going to be making today. This is using, as of now, retired uh, items. When I made it, they were not retired. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been busy for a few days. Um, and I will put a verse in the center when I go to send this out. I have used the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set and all things fabish i w wishing you all things fabulous is what i used out of that but you could use any verse that you wanted to now what i did was i stamped this on my stamparatus and it is this one and this one so what i did is just ink those up those two and then I put cardstock underneath them and then I pressed it and stamped it like normal and then I used my die see I have all kinds of them here uh, my this die and this die and and I put it it's a solid piece so I put it over top of it and I used post-it notes to hold it in place so that it wouldn't move so I could get just the ones I needed but I have all kinds made up except the small ones because I've used so many of the small ones so now this I have used this is Misty Mood Night and the gold foil is actually uh, an eighth of an inch but what I've got is um, the laser cut uh, let me see I have the lid. it's called laser cut no forever gold laser cut specialty papers and around the edge of a couple of them were these gold um, outline holding the stuff together and I thought well why waste that so I just cut it up and I cut one for here and then I cut one for there but if you don't have that you can easily make it by cutting the gold foil an eighth of an inch wide and then cutting it uh, the dimensions and I have those listed in the video now this this is part of the laser cut forever gold laser cut it's so pretty i hope that's not shining in your face but i have these and i wanted to to use them up now this is the hydrangea hill designer series paper and it is retired this is retired this is part of this package it's retired sorry about that but I've all uh, this is Misty Moonlight it's still in the rest I believe are all stuff that's in um, and then I did two the two butterflies this butterfly is done with this um, Knight of Navy uh, dark and then I use the um, Highland Heather uh, dark and then light and went over the whole thing with the light and this one here that was a put down I just did the Highland Heather light and the 
site uh, seaside spray light and I did this 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 and this in the the Highland Heather plus the body and then I just went over the whole thing with the uh, seaside spray pretty easy to do uh, it's just it takes extra time and I just didn't want to do that and take extra time for from you so let's get started now what takes a little bit of time I'm gonna put a few things away here so I've got a little bit more workspace um, We have to be careful with these when we put them on because with the um, liquid glue, it could mar the gold and then it doesn't shine like normal. But if you use um, the seal or the seal plus, it's very wide so it's that's hard to use and the even the old snail it's quite a bit wider so what i decided to do is very gently take and dot it ever so gently across the now this one is almost out of glue, so it's actually working pretty good. So I'm not getting globs of glue. And going down this whole thing. There. Whoops. Yeah, pick it up, Cheryl. And now I'm putting it on the misty moonlight. I'm trying to get it about an eighth of an inch down and in. Now, if you don't, that's okay. Just try to get it a little, you know, about an eighth of an eighth of an inch. Okay, where's the other one? There it is. <laughs> I wanted uh, some of the misty moonlight showing between the gold and um, the side and the gold and the hydrangea, uh, the hydrangea Hill designer series paper. I just thought it was a nice look. And I didn't want a solid piece in the back behind it. Especially when I found this, it's like, oh, that's perfect. I can just use that and it will be um, nice for um, putting it down. It shines. Just like that. Not too hard. And then this sits in between and then you see the misty moonlight in the background too I just thought it was a different way of doing it instead of just having a solid layer behind I would do the gold and then have the misty moonlight showing in between see very 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 easy and very um, stunning. It really has a nice look to it. Now here again, you're doing the same kind of thing. You could um, do like the, the um, seal through here and then you can do just a you know little dots around here it's just easier than 
um, having to put the seal over top of it. And then you've got to poke holes through all these little things. All the holes in the design. And this actually doesn't take too long. And there it's done. I grab this and I'm putting it down. I hope that doesn't shine on you. Sorry if it is. Now I just um, I took the mini dimensionals and put them in the back of this. Get my paper piercer here. I didn't want um, a lot to be held down. I just wanted a little bit of lift on the edge and then I'm going to take my seal here. And I'm putting this here. And then these have a little bit of a lift just because I put the uh, dimensional there so it looks like he's flying or she's flying <laughs> whatever this is boy or girl I'm not sure but oops. now I'm putting this one up here and I did I stamped this twice I stamped this so that I could put this underneath and I could cut off what I don't need and I could put this one underneath here and have um, a little bit of wiggle room to, to get it underneath and I'm not cutting off the U. See, just like that and I'm going to stab that so how's everybody doing today it looks cold again and miserable out uh, I can hardly wait for the warm weather oh my goodness I'm just so excited to finally be when the finally weather, the nice weather comes and I can go outside and hopefully I will be able to walk for a ways down the road. Yeah, just like that. I found if you do the two, it just, it just makes it easier because you don't, wishing you and then there's not a lot, lot of room to stick it underneath. The two works better. And then you have, um, you can cut off whatever you don't need and stick it underneath. See how it works? There, that's so pretty. And I'm sorry that this is delayed but life happens but for all that have this I know Diane and Deb you have this uh, most of this stuff so you can do this gives you an idea now on this one I just did a half inch down here but on this one I'm going to do a quarter of an inch at the top and a quarter of an inch at the bottom I thought that would just change it up a little bit like that you can do whatever you want you can you can stamp and color but I just thought this was a, a quick and easy way to decorate the inside and uh, use up designer series paper too. 
since I have so much that I'm not supposed to be using. <laughs> but I am! Surprise! I sure am going to miss this designer series paper. It's so pretty. But there's some nice ones coming out. There's one. Oh my word, I just love it. It uh, goes with the hand pen, hand pen set. So pretty. Now get this glued on. And I might even go get the designer series paper and show you if I can find it quickly so you can see the catalog went live yesterday and oh so many nice things in there that we can finally order there was lots of things that we could pre-order but not everything and there was a few things it's like ah oh, I wanted to order that that's what I want <laughs> But I was able to do that yesterday. Yay! If anybody doesn't have a Stampin' Dump demonstrator, or if you're in my group and you would like a catalog, I have them available. And if uh, just send me your address and I will get one out to you. Apparently I didn't do a good job of getting to the edge. There, that's better. So, Here we go. It didn't take long at all. I don't know what it was bent. The envelope was bent, appears. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I love this paper. My goodness, it's such a beautiful paper. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, sorry it is of retired um, materials, but if you have any of these, you're lucky and you can use them up. And I will be starting with the new stuff from the catalog. And I hope you can join me next time. Thanks for uh, being here now. Bye now. Didn't I came back. This is the paper I talked about. Isn't this pretty? Oh my goodness. Love this. This is with the pale papaya. And look at that. That's also pale papaya. Oh my goodness, and there's your, I believe it's Highland Heather. Now this has some all, like a lot of different of colors in it, but there's your, I believe it's Blushing Bride. Let me see. Yeah, Basic Black Brush blush, Blushing Bride, can't even speak. Cinnamon Cider Daffodil Delight Garden Green, Highland Heather, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, Pale Papaya, Pool Party, and Whisper White. Gorgeous paper. Just gorgeous. This is your Misty Moonlight, your Pale Papaya, and your Garden Green. And there's your Garden Green. Now this one I love too. This is uh, Blushing Bride, Pale Papaya, your Mint Macaron, and your Misty Moonlight. And the back of it 
is your, actually, that doesn't look like, that might be pale papaya. Let me see. Is there any other yellow there? Um, pale papaya. It's got to be. It's such a, this is such a pretty paper. Now, this is the stamp set. Isn't it nice? Anything is possible. Congratulations. Feel better, friend. Thanks. And then there's all these stamps and the dies. And um, this cuts out this. Um, this one cuts an outline out. You can put it on top. This is a beautiful border. Like, this is really nice. I heard somebody said that this could take the place of... Um, Oh, beautiful friendship. And it is very, very pretty. Now, I I really love beautiful friendship, but it's gone and we got to make the best of things. So, yes, there, I, I think the next one I will be doing is with this paper and this set. So, have a wonderful day. Bye now.